The law of vibration and attraction. Do you know the secret? Um, you got everybody talking about the law of attraction, law of attraction. There was people, as soon as that secret came out, there was people writing books on law of attraction, had no idea what the hell they were talking about. Um, first of all, it's not a basic law. The law of attraction is a secondary law. The law of vibration is the basic law. That law decrees everything in this universe moves. So throw the uh, first PowerPoint up there, Scott, please. Full screen. Okay? Now, you are a massive energy and you function on frequencies. So there is a picture of you. If we took a picture of you, let's say in a completely dark room in front of an infrared television camera, you'd be a glistening, radiating, gleaming form. Your body is a molecular structure. You are an electronic instrument. Your brain is an electronic switching station. It alters the vibration that this physical instrument you're living in is in at any given moment. Now, for me to move my arm up and down like this, I have to activate brain cells. I activate the brain cells, and then my arm will go here. It'll go up and down. But the brain cells have to be activated. The brain controls the movement of the body. The brain is an electronic instrument. The brain controls the vibration that you're in. Your mind dictates what your brain's going to do. So, if you, um, let's go to an old concept. Hold on. Flip to the full screen, Scott. Now really pay attention here for a moment. The acorn is planted in the earth. Energy is attracted to the acorn's energy, and it becomes one with the acorn. Now, Aristotle used to hold up, it's, it's said, it's, I've read that Aristotle would hold an acorn up in front of the class in his hand, and he'd say, what is this? And he was waiting for somebody to say, an oak tree. Well, Aristotle was wrong. There's no oak tree in that acorn. You could take that acorn and dissect it on the most powerful microscope in the world. You will not find an, a, an, an oak tree in the acorn. There's not one there. The oak tree's in the universe. The nucleus or the pattern plan is in the acorn. Now, when that acorn is planted in the earth, it can only attract energy that will cause it to grow into an oak tree. It will not attract energy that would cause it to grow into a maple tree or a carrot or a rose bush um, or corn. All those, the energy is in the earth that will cause all those things to grow, but it's not attracted to the acorn. So really pay attention here. Take it up again, Scott. All right, now that acorn is planted in the earth. Let's think of this for a moment. There's energy in the, in the, that's in harmony with that seed. And the energy could be a long ways away from the seed, which is the acorn. But that energy will start marching like an obedient soldier right to that acorn. Doesn't matter how far it is away, there's energy marching towards that acorn. And it keeps going until it becomes one with the acorn. Now, just see, it's a long ways away, but there's an attractive force. Why? Because that energy, the little green dot, represents the energy. It's on the same frequency as the acorn. And because it's on the same frequency, it starts to move toward it. It starts to move toward it. And as it moves towards it, then it becomes one with the acorn, because it's on the same frequency, the acorn does the only thing it can do, it expands. And you'll find the roots coming out the bottom, and then it breaks through the earth, and it breaks through, and it starts to attract from the universe. It attracts from the atmosphere, as well as from the earth. Everything is necessary for that oak tree to grow. Now think, there could be energy jammed right up against that acorn, right beside it, jammed smack right against it that would cause a seed to grow into uh, a carrot. But it won't mix with the acorn. Why? Because it's not on the same frequency. It's for the same reason, if you dial your mother's number, my phone isn't going to ring. 
Now think, really think. That acorn can only attract what's in harmony with it. And that's what happens. There's a pattern plan in the seed that controls the vibration of the acorn. There's a pattern plan in that seed. It dictates what the acorn attracts to it. Okay? So the energy that created the oak tree was always there. It's in harmony with and was attracted to the seed. Okay? Now keep thinking. The acorn is in the earth. Okay? The energy for the oak tree is in the universe. It's the law of attraction that brings them together. Okay? Now, you are like that seed. You're a seed. You are. I am. This thing here, Bob. And Bob is attracting to him, right now as I'm talking to you, whatever's in harmonious vibration with me. You met and jangled senses. Because even a Jedi Master can have a bad day. Haven't you wondered how Bob became Bob? You like this video. We put a lot of good information up here and it causes everything in your life to get better. If you'd like us to notify you every time we put a new video up, hit subscribe and then turn on notifications. Check out all our videos and we will notify you when we put a new one up.